10, 25. Oh wait, that's a shit. Is that 5 or 6? It's hard to tell. Oh well. First Sam, no, I mean Second Samuel, chapter two, verses one through seven. David anointed king over Judah. Don't you mean Judah? What about it? Judah? <coughs> but. Judah. Anyway, let's just get out with it. In the course of time, David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up to one of the towns of Judah? He asked. The Lord said, Go up. David asked, Where shall I go? To Hebron. H-E-B-R-O-N, -E the Lord answered. So David went up there with his two wives, Anoroma, A H I N O A M, of Jezreel, and Abigail, the widow of Nebel, and A B A L, of Carmel, 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 Carmel. David also took the men who were with him, each with his family. And they settled in Hebron and its towns. Then the men of Judah came to Hebron, and they anointed David king over the tribe of Judah. And David was told that it was the men from Judah, from, no, from Jabesh, J-A-B-A-S-H, Gled, G-I-L-E-A-D, who had buried Saul, he sent messengers to them, saying, the Lord blesses you for showing this kindness to Saul, your master, by bearing him. May the Lord now show you kindness and faithfulness. I too will not. I will. Too, I too will show you the same favor because you have done this. Now then, be strong and brave, for Saul, your master, is dead. And the people of Judah have anointed me king over them. But when you king of Israel, well, yeah, there's a little, um, disputes. As would be when something like, th something like this happens. Oh, that says two ten twenty nine.